faster, Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tower. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? This that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krach awaits. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Yes. Be careful there. Yes. <laughs> much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an aunt creates to wear the crown, it... Should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it? Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Don't your mug smacked? Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkarls with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Us! You're shite boasting. Ceres! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her. She's so. That's so. Why, stubborn, fierce, mule headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Cyrus. And they're twins in that regard. Don't see Krach. He talking to the Arls. No, went to his chambers. But to prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witcher, perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Respect the witcher. What are the black ones. Yeah, the best blade's not worth shit if a weak arm swinging it. Hey, honor orders make the Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking? This is no feast. It's a farmer's market, where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bronze son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favourable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. Stephen, come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking? Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is! Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, a hackamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. 
In the Isles, mead and mead stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote'll turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on great blood flows in both. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. And Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one... Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos, and now you threaten my son. Oh, 
that step for this. Dad, come here. Come on. Put you down like a rabbit dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crete. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Pull yourself together, Senna. How'd they get in? No! The gates were shut! Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. All right. What do we have here? Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. And something else. Something earthy. Bears like honey. Before it's fermented. Strange. Something under the fur. A tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. All the horns are empty. Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead.
Dragadar. Skald's played his last. Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. Autric. Shit, no more than a kid. Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stangrim, maybe? So many wounds. No wonder Hjallborn bled to death. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms? Bowls empty, but the scent's in the air, coming from somewhere else in this room. Spiked with some kind of mushroom and human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were men who transform into bears. Uh huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. Stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Someone spiked one of the mead barrels, with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said... Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Mardrom related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate mardrome were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrum. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silasaib, I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Odalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and mardrum. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I help prepare for the feast. 
I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. Must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, meat's gotta flow. But so does blood. Might say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. <coughs> the stench! Is that vodka? Mahakaman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Right behind you. That's a relief. <laughs> this mead's clean. Nothing here either. Mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! Quick. Burned alive? Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. This is a secret passage. One rarely used, more like. When Yalmar and I were little, we'd play here. Medallion's humming. Uh, bygone days. Place of power, it's gotta be. on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, <laughs> but I've no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. So 
one walked through the mead. <laughs> Could you ask for clearer prints? Sticky from the mead. Trail breaks off. Need to find another clue nearby. Something else to Must follow. have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No. It can't be. What is it? Arnvald's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Grab a horse, we'll chase him down. Iron Bolt! Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him. Go, go. You don't stand a chance. Way to see you, Bark Knight! Come on, Roach. Shit, he's fast. You betray them. Talk, or I'll finish what I started. No Oncrete should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skellige needs stability. A strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken Jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Berner Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar, Arnvald. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan of the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I've letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the mead. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boon of Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison mead to the Berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. It was your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald.
Zaris speaks true. Burner commanded me to poison the maid. When Cerys and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in! Good man. He's a servant to Ancreate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Bernard to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked to the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Berna's right, Cyrus. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crete will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, wanderer. Wait! Brother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. You gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. That's what that was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Svanrika, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Creep. And you, Berna Bran. I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. Lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me, see for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. Might join you later. Counting on it, as are my children. Bernard Bran. Terrific death. Quick now! All the yards have gathered. Coronation's begun already. Sarah's and Crete! Skellige's new queen! The gods will favor us! Today, our mourning ends. Today, 
by the grace of the gods and the clans. A new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty. I know some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 between our clans, but I must try and talk to him. Just might bring him around. Keep my fingers crossed. Farewell. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good! May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive. And all the Isles with us! Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, that was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea, near the Nyor Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urboros's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. On the one hand, a theft. On the other, Ceres' life. I also care deeply. I proposed a series of other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... What? What was that? No. Yennefer's used the mask. Great. 
What was that? Unicorns. Damn it, Yen. I saw the Falklets. I meant how'd they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive, somehow. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Gonna read my mind again? You object? You know I don't like it. Let it go. I just want to see what happened. Besides, you know there are things I'd rather not know about you. Let's go. Already found the first spot. This is the spot. Put on the mask. Any instructions? What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot. Magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking. But don't worry. Siri can take care of us. on the mask. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Bella. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Nowhere? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ciri's. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. 
Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Just so happens I'm willing to do anything for some people. Everyone else! Everything else be damned, is that it? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? We think a powerful curse was cast here. Hmm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet, but we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded, but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you...? I can. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword mix. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Ciri. But why? Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. It is true she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Doran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders sent the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women, and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Mm-hmm. See you there. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned 